A new proposal in the state Senate is hoping to make things a little easier for those leaving prison and trying to readjust to life. Your reporter, Michael Abeda, spoke to one of the state senators behind this proposal. And Michael, this aims to prevent people from reoffending and then ending up back behind bars. Yeah, you know, Kelly, that's exactly right, because when you are incarcerated from Colorado and then released, you get $100 to restart your life, which these days is not that much. But that state senator, James Coleman, is trying to make sure that people who have paid their debt to society have the money they need to rejoin it. Colorado is about redemption. State Senator James Coleman knows times are tough for a lot of Coloradans, especially if they've been convicted of a crime and served their sentence. There's a real high poss possibility of them being able to go back on the streets and come right back into the prison because they don't have the resources they need. That's why he, along with Senator Julie Gonzalez and Representatives Mary Young and Javier Mayberry, have introduced State Bill 2412, which would create a prison reintegration pilot program that would give certain people leaving incarceration up to $3,000 for basic life expenses. So we want to make sure that we're a state that supports individuals getting back on their feet once they come out of prison. He says it's also an opportunity to save the state money. It costs us about $50,000 a year to incarcerate one individual in the prison behind me. If we're able to give them $3,000 to support them to get back on their feet, then that's $47,000 that we're saving. And he says data shows it works. If you look across the country where programs like this exist, make it possible for them to have a 90% transition back into the workforce when they get out of prison. Not everyone would be eligible for the payments. The candidate would have to participate in workforce services or training programs upon release. Coleman says the people that would qualify have paid their debt to society and he would rather see them contribute to our state rather than fall back into crime to provide for themselves. As much as we're looking to invest in our children, as much as we're looking to invest in our elders, we also want to make sure that folks who are coming out of prison have an opportunity for redemption and success as well. Now, Coleman says right now in Colorado, the recidivism rate is about 50 percent. He thinks $3,000 for basic life necessities will cut into that significantly. In Denver, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first. Michael, thank you.